Knicks, and that might be something. You know, the mental state of teams, but I'm sure they're hungry today to try to get that bag, though. Yeah, Shaka Kubali, they come in unbeaten, 2-0. Beat a good Vienna team to close the day yesterday. Meantime for Antwerp, uh, they got handled by Utrecht by 10. Lost that game, but they bounced back with a 20-19 win over Marian Pole Montiga as they enter the quarterfinals 1-1. One one. Just getting into this one. Monster. Bukelis gives it over to Uzi. Uwe. He missed it bad. And let's see what uh, what Augustinian can do against the Monster, because, I mean, he's, he's, he's given up a couple of pounds at least. Let's just say that. Right. He's got he's got good size, but Bukalis is I mean, he's a larger man. That's a big man right there. Yeah. He's got a little bit more meat wrapped around his bones. Augustinia to Clerk Kent. He can't hit it from the free throw line, so Ushupis will handle it. Cost himself a few seconds after mishandling it. And that'll leave his team with six seconds to shoot here. Half of a shot clock. I think what we saw yesterday from Anwar was that they, uh, I mean, they, they lost badly the first game, let's be honest here. We, we don't have to, we don't have to be, be kind about that, I think. No, um, we don't have they to. know that themselves, but they, they got into into it a little bit in the second game, and what they really needed was must see TV to come alive there. And when it mattered most, he did. So I feel like they they actually had a pretty good first day after well, that first game. Well, we talked about that second game that they played, and credit to you, you said you felt like it was a game that Antwerp was going to be able to kind of win it just by the skin of their teeth, and that stayed true to form, a one-point win. To survive to make it here to day two. Meantime, it's Sellis. The bank is open. Off the glass he goes, and Antwerp is on the board. Bugalis will get it. He'll kick it out to the Uzi. Faker. Up fake. Gets a good look. And that foul's going to be called on Bogart as he was trying to hold down the Monstar. He needs some muscles to, to hold him down, and Bogart grabbed him and tried to kind of pull him out, but, you know, Monstar still got his hands on the ball. Should I say Mitz now, as we call him Monster? Mitz? Mitz? That's not a bad name. Yeah, he's got soft hands. No, but I'm saying, like, if we call him the Monster, if he catches the ball, it shouldn't say hangs, right? No, that's right. Claws or Mitz there or you something. Go. There you go. I see what he did there. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. Well, he wants to put his, his uh, claws or his mitts around uh, Antwerp's neck at the end of the day. He's on the bench right now, so now they're going to have to find some... Other interior scoring, not a bad option. Uzi unloads, close range, count it. 1-1. One, one. Just a minute and a half in. Shake, maybe surprisingly to some, they shot the two ball great. 10 of 24 coming out of group play. That's 42% for you math majors out there. And always look to that stat when it comes to success because that, you know, two-point shooting, long-range shooting in any round ball game these days is so imperative as must see tv steps back and that is thrown away the issue the issue with uh with antwerp though is they have not shot the their free throws very well they're shooting uh they're shooting their free throws at a clip of 33 mm, percent that's not good and they've only shot six of them, so they're not even getting to the line. So you know, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, and I think, as you mentioned before, Shakai has been really good at shooting two ball this tournament. And I think they have what you what you could call the most dangerous team out here, I feel like, when, when they're hitting on all cylinders, right? Because you got the Uzi, you got uh, Pukalis inside, you know, the monster. And then we have Kumpis and Bilavichis outside that can also hit the shots. And then Kumpis has some hops, too. So I think if they're hitting on all cylinders, they might be one of the more dangerous teams offensively out here because they have the uh, the entire package. They, they can score on all levels of the court. That is without a doubt. And maybe what leads to some of that frustration because you see that talent one through four, and you just hope that it comes together each and every game. But it's, it's unpredictable. But abort to Augustinian. That's poked away. Kumpis is an active defender. But that is whistled out of bounds off of him. That leaves six seconds for Antwerp to get a shot up. There's Vervoort. This dude 
He's made those before. That's not a bad shot. We seen him hit that yesterday, actually. Yes. So that's a and countless times last year. But of course, that one goes back. Antwerp remain behind by two. Uh, Sellis with the interception. Revort will give it back to Clerk Kent. Offensive foul. Official Alex Telesanen with the call. You can't extend your hands on that screen, and you see that very often people just kind of keep their ground, hold their ground on the screen, but then at the very last second extend their hands and push off a little bit. So good call by the ref. Anything overt. Anything overt is going to get you called. Meantime, two ball, 5-1, Shake Kubale. An early four-point advantage. That does not, that's not a death sentence by any stretch. Still very early. A lot of things could change. Sellis misses the shorty. Uzi will kick it out. To Bugales. Bugales kicks it. Oh, that pass deflected. That went over somebody's big toe. Kick ball means a fresh 12. So Antwerp needs to stop the bleed here. They love to get a two ball. For the board. He's being shadowed everywhere he goes. Oh, nice hezzy from Balavi Chus and finishes with the fillet. That was top quality. Big shot over Augustinian, too, over the 6 8 long arm Belgian. So, oh, they leave Bugs open. Balavi Chus will come away with the rebound. And Balavi Chus, he's a key member of this team, too. I think in their early years, Balavi Chus was really. The second best scoring option, Bellavi Chus was an absolute gun, and he still couldn't get it done. But uh, maybe deserving of a little bit more credit in Shaki Gubale's success. He's a baller. I think so, too, and he just showed it with that finish. I mean, you know, he hit, he hit some important shots yesterday, uh, especially from the outside, but he can also drive and take it to the hoop and finish over bigger players, which is not something that a lot of players can do. Well, both teams will step aside and get a breather. Our second quarter final. We just saw Lehman do away with Belgrade Partizan to earn their way into the semifinals. The winner of this one gets to lace them up against the Serbians. Oh, get it out! Or maybe not. Get it in. That's going to count. Augustinian just kind of mistimed it. It looked good, but it looked very good. Athletic too, but I think it hit the backboard before he got his hands on the ball. So we'll get back to it in the seven to one game. The Lithuanians are all over the Belgians. Kyle Montgomery and Big Boz, the mountain. Boz Rosendahl, yes, sir. Here, here inside Bet City Arena. Last day of play here. Very happy to be uh, here in Utrecht for the first time for a World Tour Masters. Of course, they had the challenger here last year, but it's going up a notch. Credit to all involved. Look at this man. I mean, I know, I know from this vantage point you can see it as well, but it is a packed house. Everybody's just looking at the games and the cage as we as we kindly call it now. The cage is full and uh, everybody's ready for the day so that's right. It's going to be buzzing in here in a couple of a uh, couple of games I feel like. I think that's caught on. The, the cage. This is what people are calling it. Oh yeah. Credit to you. We try a little bit. You know. I like that. You know. It's a cage fight out here. Look at <laughs> these right. guys. We got people with uh, with hand injuries. We got people that's been hitting the head yesterday so it's not just basketball you see here. It's okay though. That's facts. Seven to one. This hadn't been much of a fight so far, though. No, no, no. Antwerp came out. Uh, not Antwerp. Came out like they did in the first game yesterday. So, Kopis with the defense painted on him. A bad miss. Bogues will set the screen. 
Get some space for Sellis. Sellis tries to step through. He's denied. Bolt straight on two. No. Man. Tough shot, they Uzi. Man, I'm telling you, they are pouring it on right now. And this is where you're really going to see what Antwerp's composure is going to look like. Because they trail it here by seven. And this is really a test of their metal here. Well, as we, we're under six minutes, a lot of time left. And you have to find some new energy if you're Antwerp right now. Because you got six fouls and one point. So Man. You, you have to kind of reverse that, I guess. But uh, the monster are going to work at stuff if you have if you're playing against him. You. They got a constant stream of buckets just coming from him, and you got to turn the tides on that. So Antwerp has to find a way to get must see TV going. Otherwise, it's gonna be a short day for them today. Monster ain't trying to make no friends down there. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Once he gets them claws on the ball, it's a wrap. Meantime, Sellers touches nothing. Belabi choose with a little hezzy. He'll get it over to Uzi. Uzi throws him. Oh, but he missed the layup. Good hustle there from Pogalis. He's out of play for now. It's two on three. Belavi juice. Fresh squeezed. Pure on the release. Oh, that's just mean. I mean, if you're at war, if you're working so hard to gain the possession back, and this guy just hits a falling two-pointer. That's ridiculous. That that is the type of play that deflates you. Oh, yeah. That will take all the air out of your lungs right now. It is an 11 to 2 game. Take another look at that last sequence. Look at the first to hustle from Monstar. He keeps that ball alive that even allowed Belabi just to make that crazy shot. Yeah, but then you still have to make a running, falling away two-point shot. It's ridiculous. You got to be able to shoot the ball pretty well if you if you can do that. Belabi just must have heard some of the compliments that he was getting up here, and he said, uh, "Let me let me go ahead and prove those guys right." Yeah, let me show you. I wish I could listen in on the angle huddle right now, though, because I feel like a lot of their offense right now, or non-offense, if we can say that, has been coming from Nick Sellis, and usually he's very effective in finding his teammates. They just, and he's doing that today, right? But they're not, they're not hitting the shots. And then Shaka is just shadowing Musi TV. I think they started earlier today when he went to the bathroom, and then they just kept following. Him. They followed that dude to the hotel. They yeah. slept outside of Bravort's room. They said, you ain't going nowhere without us having some eyes on you. It just feels like, I mean, it has to feel like you're playing with a wet towel around your back or something. I don't know. There's just somebody there everywhere he goes, and that's tough. But you draw that type of attention when you have some of the success that he's had. They, you, he's on the scout report now. He's not an unknown. He's not a question mark. It's like we got to take that dude out of the game. And now Sellers will kick it. Bogues will drive. He'll give it back to Clark Kent. He mishandles it. Shaki Gubale will come away with it. And let's not forget, Shaki Gubale made it all the way to the final in Montreal. Our most recent Masters. They lost it to Riga. But they've been knocking on the door all season long. A couple of challenger wins for them. They won in Ulaanbaatar. They won the Uban Challenger. And they seem to be on the way up. Meantime, that shot is up. Look at the arc on that, but the rim spit it out. There's Belavichus holding on to Vrvort. And you're right, they, they have to have a reliable second option. Yeah, and usually they create that through a lot of their movement, right? And I feel like right now they're just trying to play one-on-one, -on -one and they're not moving the ball as much as they usually do, so... I mean, that, that's something they got to get back to. Even though he can make difficult shots, you don't want to make, force him to have to shoot difficult shots every time. If, if you're his teammate, you got to do whatever it takes. Run him off a double screen. Do him like, like they do Steph Curry or Reggie Miller. And we got an unsportsmanlike foul call off the ball. Now, I got to be honest, I didn't exactly see who committed that, so we'll have to... Shekhe committed it because I saw the fouls going up one. I'm right. 
But well, that's about it. I'm talking about which individual. Oh, he elbowed him in the neck. I, I see it. It's Belav called him Belavichus. Yeah, Belavichus had his elbow up a little bit too high. I don't think it was intentional, but you can't hit somebody in the neck with your elbow. That's uh, Again, we're in a cage, but you can't be doing that. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, though. You know what I'm missing from the Antwerp team right now is their movement and their, their slips from the screens, right? So they're setting screens, and then they're going one-on-one -on -one or shooting shots from the outside. But usually what they do is they'll move the ball around a couple of times, set so many screens that at some point you just don't even know where they're coming from, and then they'll slip a screen and get a layup. Now, as you see in the score here, they only have two points, so they haven't had too many layups. This is an anomaly. An aberration, an uncommon occurrence for you to see Antwerp with the offensive firepower that this, that this team has, with Tabot Verbort, the whole crew, with three points, with four minutes to play. Yes. Trailing by ten, three points and seven fouls, so it, it, it doesn't look good. It does not, but again, with a player like Must See TV on your team, I'm not counting them out. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to say I, I, I would bet two tacos on it, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to remind me about the taco bet from yesterday. <laughs> I am. All right. I owe, I owe Boz two tacos, y'all. All right. I'm going to get the smallest tacos that this city has to offer. <laughs> soft, non, the soft non shell French ones, the Mexican tacos. <laughs> soft shell or hard shell? <laughs> I'll take a soft shell taco. Meantime, it's Bukalis going hard in the paint. He's going to get Shaka a 14th point. As they are running away with this one. Antwerp has not been able to stop the bleeding. They haven't been able to even stop the fouls. They'll try to benefit from a foul here at the line. And Shaquay picks up an eighth as Augustinian will shoot a couple. Augustinian. No. So it goes from bad to worse. The margin for error is so slim already for Antwerp, so you certainly got to make them count at the line. Splits two. Kopis with the cross. Belavichus with the quick move. Missed it. He's going to reset. Hiding behind Uzi. Now he makes the move. The whip pass to Uzi. That's a that, great pass. Man, perfection. Dime delivery. Ten-point game. Celis. He shoots it flat. Now Bellavichus will sneak it past Vervort, but he cut, can't make the layup. Over to Sellis. Augustinian got him plenty of space. Sellis decides to drive. He gets it to Augustinian now, and oh, Augustinian can't land it. Kopis starts the Lithuanian attack. Kopis. He wanted some space in the relationship, social distancing, and he hits it from distance, 17 to 5. Augustinian getting tricky with it. Oh, that's a that's a, a sky hook. He that brought one, that out. That did look like a sky hook. He brought up the sky hook. And was looking for all kinds of uh, options right now to get on the scoreboard. But I didn't expect them to bring out that. Oh man, Uzi just continues to count it up. This is an 18 to 6 game that we're looking at right here. Oh, and a big finish, but I doubt that'll bring any happiness to Antwerp fans. Look good. But 18 to 7, and Kumpis another step back. That one is missed, and that one's poked out of bounds off red. So Antwerp will take over here with two minutes to go, but they trail this thing by 11. That's tough, and, and Chakai has to be has to remain focused now. That's all they got to do. It, every time you're in a game like this, where two minutes to go and you're up 11 points, what we used to say in the timeout if we were up like this was give them ones. Yeah, I mean you can keep scoring. As you can see, Chakai doesn't stop scoring, and uh, if you just give them one pointers, if you put pressure out on the two point line, how are they going to get close? They got to get 11 layups in two minutes. That's too much. That's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, I've seen that strategy employed many times. So, what's the Sam Smith song? The writing's on the wall. Sure. Mm -hmm. Are we yeah. going back on back to the songs okay, now? Because no. I'm, I'm still I haven't studied. Fine. Don't worry about that. I tried to listen to some music earlier today to try to see if I can find something that I can sing with you, but you know. the writing's on the wall. Oh my goodness! He went up like helium. <laughs> with the big throw down. I can't believe you brought that. He brought the chemistry reference here. They're coming out of everywhere. Look at that man. Floating like a kite through the sky. 
And he brings some fury at the rim. Modestus Kumpis, a top three dunker on the tour this year. And that might have been the exclamation punch right there. Oh, yeah, and, and Kumpis is an exciting dunker, too. He's, he's trying to catch bodies. He's not just looking for a strong layup. He's trying to poke on you. Oh, for sure. And, he, you know, he's... I think he stands about 192, something like that. He's not a he's not a really big dude. He I guess just he's got, a big leaper then. He just got big bounce. Bogues to Augustinian. Augustinian. Fader is gonna fall. Minute 20 to go. Not a matter of if, just a matter of when. It might be right. No, not right now. Augustinian slapped it away. Sellis. He wants. To set up Augustinian. Augustinian pulls the trigger. He delivers from long range. That'll make the score a little bit more respectable. But it very likely will not help Antwerp come out victorious here. Just a buck left in this game. A buck in the tick. Minute on one. Yeah, and we're coming alive just a little bit, but that's also because Shaka took their foot off the gas pedal defensively a little bit. Augustinian dropping the shoulder and showing that soft touch. Seven point difference. Belabi choose. Moving left. Gets it over to Pukalis. Pukalis is up and in. Oh, now Augustinian is all of a sudden on a little heat wave. They're down by six. Make that five. But 25 seconds remain. You better believe Shaka Kubali are going to just use clock here. And Bukelis, he's got three to shoot. He'll swing it over. Kumpis, he launches that up. That'll leave 13.6 seconds left. And we're just waiting for the final horn in this one. I, I guess we are, but that, as I said, you just don't want to give up those twos, even when you're up all that much, because now it's 20 to 15, right? And you never know what could happen in those last 13 seconds. Augustinian's been on fire. Not anymore, though. Well, it's a tough shot. Very tough shot. Late in the shot clock. I take that as well, though. If you're if you're that hot, if you got four or five points in a row, why not? Just try one. Especially at the end of a game like that. Of course, 13 seconds left. I'm putting it up as soon as I touch it. You just need something to go down and, and a whole lot of luck. Meantime, this game is over with. That was the final call.